You could call them bionic foods because they're touted as bigger, stronger, and faster. The scientific name is GMO, genetically modified organisms. They're a new generation of super crops created by splicing characteristics from one species into the DNA of another. GMOs are at the cutting edge of making food safer, more affordable, more abundant, uh, and giving people more choices. They're engineered to produce higher yields, contain more vitamins and minerals, while resisting insects and plant diseases. Some GMOs even grow in droughts, floods, and extreme temperatures where they couldn't before. Billionaire Bill Gates is investing in these crops to ease starvation in developing countries. We need to take full advantage of these emerging technologies to develop new crop varieties. And we need to make these seeds available to the small farmers who need them. In America, a whopping 85% of corn, soybeans, sugar beets, and canola are grown from GMO seed. So far, the FDA has only approved this technology for plants, but they may soon give the go-ahead to the first genetically modified animal, farm-raised salmon. And get this, it grows to market size up to four times faster than other farm-raised salmon. Genetically modified foods have been in our food supply for 15 years, and most of us eat them every day. But critics of GMOs say it's time to reverse this trend. In his book, Seeds of Deception, author Jeffrey Smith highlights research that this food can cause increased allergic reactions, resistance to antibiotics, reproductive problems, accelerated aging, and immune system damage. Unfortunately, the biotech industry has basically been marching lockstep with the government and vice versa for the past 20 years. And they refuse to look at the increasing evidence that GMOs are unsafe, both for the health and the environment. But those studies are refuted by other research, according to Sharon bowman Lauritsen, who represents several biotechnology companies. The studies that actually have shown that biotechnology is completely safe um, have done by been done by preeminent scientists around the world. The U.S. National Academy of Sciences, the American Medical Association, all three U.S. government uh, agencies that regulate these products have all reviewed the scientific facts related to these products, and they are completely safe. Joel Salatin is a successful organic farmer featured in the movie Food, Inc. He rejects GMOs, saying they're not part of God's plan. And so that fundamentally violates the very pattern and order that God ordained in Genesis for creation and its sustainability. Other critics are worried about the disruption of the natural food chain, loss of biological diversity, and cross-pollination. You've got a field of genetically engineered alfalfa, and the bees from that field move over to your non-genetically modified field or your organic field and contaminate it. The Food and Drug Administration does not require food manufacturers to disclose whether they use genetically modified ingredients in their products. We wanted to talk to them about that, but they declined our request for an interview and instead referred us to their website. Which says the law prohibits food labeling that's misleading. And the FDA has not found that foods from genetically engineered organisms present greater safety concerns than their conventional counterparts. So if it's not on the label, how do you know if you're buying a GMO food? Simply, most processed foods contain them. Those are the packaged foods you find in the middle of the grocery store. Typically, the raw fruits and vegetables on the perimeter of the store are GMO free, as are organic foods. Some food manufacturers make it easy and label their foods GMO free. So the debate continues. Some say GMOs are the best hope for the world's food shortage, while others say they're our worst nightmare. Lori Johnson, CBN News.